Folks, come on over. We've got the haul from Daytona Flea right here on my take on Home and Garden. Have you seen my baby? She's not a dame nor a lady. Not in the way she walks, the way she talks, or the way she loves me. Just look at me. I'm like a monkey in a coconut tree. You know I'm overjoyed, cause boy, oh boy, she's my I promise you that haul from Daytona Flea. It's not a truck load, but it's a good load, and we're gonna have fun with it. Let's get going today. I guess you just saw me doing some cleaning, some work, and some packaging for the store as well. What are we gonna start with here today? You know, I'm down there at Daytona Flea for a certain area of vintage and collectibles. That's our focus down there. And of course, we gotta go see Francis and Felipe. Always fun to see them. <laughs> They're a riot. And they had to give me something because people are telling them they're hearing about them from our show so I love that I told them I want to help and of course I want them to be able to stay there that's what it's all about so a lot of fun now some of this is not from them this first piece was from them Francis and Felipe. Look at this beauty. There was two, and what a shame. The other one had a big, huge repair, broke off at the shoulders. She tried to give it to me, and I just, you know, I'm just, don't have time anymore, really, to fix much. I almost should have took it. I don't know. It was a juggling act. This beautiful piece, we have nothing like it, just wonderful. Could be Satsuma or equivalent. And she looks like a teacher and she's sitting on her modest stool and she's got her lesson and a big scroll. Really sweet, loved it. I would have loved the pair too, but oh man, maybe I could find another one. And look at this beauty. First thing I saw, I had my son with me. <laughs> he asked him to hold it so I could finish the filming and so on. It needs a little alignment work, which is tough with these vintage pieces because they're older and you can only bend them so far without breaking them off and getting in trouble. But this is a doozy. I think the way this is covered, I think this is a bronze piece. Anyway, this is what they gave me. So I thank them as usual, folks. You know, we work together and I hope you get 2,000 cars this weekend to look through your cool stuff. <laughs> And I've told everybody before, I've never left there empty handed, but here's the two prizes out of there today. Look at this candlestick. There was another and somebody bought one. <laughs> that's, that's usually how it goes. I don't care. This, I'll clean it up more and polish it up and get it a little darker might even add a little gold. We'll see how it comes out in the raw, in the natural. And you know, Angela gets after me because she doesn't want everything to look the same. Well, I don't either. <laughs> but sometimes you can do such an improvement on what you found with a small touch up. Now, my buddy, over there that I always check out too. He's always there. 
This is a pair of Luster Wear creamer and sugar. Very different, tall and wonderful. For that period, this is a sugar shaker. If you're not used to it, they're bigger than salt and pepper, obviously. Look at this for your table in your Oriental set. Gorgeous, loved it. And it has a proper, really good marking on the bottom. I, I haven't, you know, tracked it down completely, but Alrighty, next thing. What a cutie. Little red West Virginia crackle glass. Maybe Ohio. There was a day where that whole area did the vintage art glass. And this is an applied clear handle that tells me this is after 1960. Okay, after. But this is hand blown because the pipe is broke off the bottom. That's how you can tell. Look at this beautiful thing. What else did he have? This guy, he had a ton for me that day. It's, you know, everybody takes a turn. It can be one place or the other, or a little sprinkling from everybody. Here is a piece of green wedge wood in the Jasper Ware. It's a beauty. This will go in the store. It just happens to be something we don't collect. And it is wonderful. And I'm thinking this has two stamps and two letters. I'm thinking this is extra special. Two separate, so altogether four separate stamps and you know, it depicts life with kids and angels and pooty. There's a laurel, trees, and just sweet as can be. Look at that. By Wedgwood of England. Next, this is from Francis Shop, and it is a wonderful Bavarian coffee pot. You knew it before I said it now, right? After watching our other ones. <laughs> Beautiful. I'd say it's a four cup coffee pot. Really sweet. Alka of Bavaria, Germany. And it's wonderful. Properly marked, 18 or 22 karat gold trim handle. The pedestal is actually cut into four feet. Wonderful porcelain coffee pot. Check it out, guys. Okay, there's your proof of porcelain right there with the light coming through like I always like to mention. All right, very, very cool. What else did I find over there? Anybody remember these? He had a pair. Oh man, did I do good on these. I'm gonna put a candle on for you in one. These were made for Princess House. Anybody remember that brand? They are gorgeous. It's a solid, through ruby red glass, mark on the bottom, and it is poinsettia, a molded and pressed vase or candle. I think that's more of what they do with them. Put a big candle in like you're seeing here. Just nuts about them, and you know they go with the Cape Cod and they go with their incredible red basket set so these have to stay home. <laughs> they can't go anywhere. I'm sure you would think the same. Look at that incredible deep ruby red. Man, guys, 
I couldn't believe he had this old cast iron toy. Now it is a reproduction, but it's vintage also. So its value goes up and up and up. It has the driver and he used to carry the reins that were attached to the horse. I'm gonna, I, I looked this up real quick, but I'm gonna look it up to where I can find out if the reins were rope, thread, or chain, how it was proper from the beginning, and that's what I'll, I'll put that back, you know, to make that right. Too cute, guys. I don't know where you're going to go. You know you're going to hear it. Oh, man. It's so tough. When you collect more than one thing, it's bad enough collecting one thing. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. The toys just tug at your heart. And you guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. Trains, planes, automobiles, even balls and spinning tops. When you see them all, it's just little time machine, like I always say, it, it zips you right back to when you were young. That's magical. And honestly, for a little affordable thing, it's an amazing, reasonable time machine, right? Comparably <laughs> to try to really make one. Okay. Now we've got for those of you that would be interested in staying with us because you care and you want to see, we have three gifts that come in and I wanted to share that. This is from our wonderful friend, Doy, from Tennessee. She's multiple gifts, you know, through since she's been a friend on our channel and a and a part of our family on our channel. She, the, she had trouble with the Christmas presents, getting them on time. But this is a mud man, and I love the scale of it. And of course, what he's doing is totally different than anything I had before. So you know, that's a winner. That's such a winner to a collector when you can get something that's completely different. Now we have a cute friend, Rebecca Ann, 67. She has a little channel on YouTube and she's got some cute stuff. She helps her mom and she does some things for her mom quite a bit. She sends a Christmas card and of course, we don't worry about when it comes. We just thought it was sweet as can be. And we want to thank you, Rebecca. And I haven't seen you for a while, but she is a subscriber to our channel for probably two, three years. And we're never late here. We're just held up, right? We're delayed. That's all. That's how we think about it. But she has sent a six set of Norman Rockwell. It looks like five inch plates to me. <laughs> they are really cute. So I got to move it along. I can tell. We're going to look at the first one. Here's a dead clown getting the, the sun clown ready for the show. <laughs> it's too cute. Holy mackerel, I love it. Okay, so how cute can you get with this? I'm gonna have to buzz through. Now we have another one. This is the old man, and you might have a tough time, but I'm seeing the light through. They are porcelain, the set, wonderful. The old man looking out the door, Probably some kid knocked on his door and ran. <laughs> you know, that old game. This I went nuts about. Young 
boy and girl walking to school with the cutest clothes and he's carrying her books <laughs> just like what I do for Angela boy I don't know <laughs> is this classic Norman Rockwell or what really love these now some have a wall hanger here's the boy trying to fix his own jacket and the mom's waiting for him to get done and so she can do it right <laughs> wonderful things and Rebecca that was a real surprise how sweet and I hope you're having good luck with your channel and we're gonna have to check on you alrighty really appreciate it well that can stay there that's my favorite one the, oh boy that is so good hmm I wonder how that could fit into the circus tree I'm gonna do this year right anybody getting it <laughs> now Miss Jessica the Magnificent <laughs> constant barrage of wonderful things to share she has sent this incredible gorgeous pressed glass I'm not a hundred percent on this because I haven't found this size basket to reference I've seen a little one and I'm real sure pretty sure this is Ellie Smith possible Imperial but when I do find out for sure, I'll try to remember and get back to you on that. Where you're going to go, guys, for beautiful, right here on my take on Home and Garden. And with all the wonderful friends and all the shopping, I don't think we'll ever run out of things to show. I certainly hope not. <laughs> Look at that basket, huh? How are you going to beat it? Got one more little thing I'm going to try to show. And this was a gift from Doy to Angela. And it is a little perfume dispenser. But it is really pretty and sweet. And we got to thank her for that. So, Jessica, thank you for the beautiful basket, as always. And the Christmas goodies that are piling up for the first Christmas show. Doy, for the Mud Man, and the wonderful Blue Jay Perfume jewelry piece to Angela. And Rebecca... We really appreciate it. The sweet collection of six Norman Rockwell plates. Just love them. So thank you for that. Folks, what am I doing next? I think there's a couple of things going on. We got to do a minimal. Oh, I did not say that. It's not. No, I don't use that word. We're doing a non-seasonal home tour. That's right. Where there's going to be less. There, I can barely say that. Less things out in the room or on the furniture. We got that coming. And something else for that week. Take care. See you soon. Be good. Give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over. And guys, enjoy the end of your winter. Don't forget that downhill skiing, snowboarding, my favorite, snowmobiling, and ice skating before it's too late. Bye guys, have fun, see you soon.